How's it going guys? Trucks and Water here today and today I'm going to have another truck talk. This is going to be an interesting truck talk. I'm going to talk about why trucks, especially diesels, are the hot rod of like this era. There's generation of kids and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. When my dad, when I hear stories about when my dad was at like my age, about 21, you know, late teens, early 20s and stuff like that, he always talked about the muscle cars and all that stuff that ruled the road. Back then, trucks weren't the same as they are now. Trucks were thought of as strictly a utilitarian purpose. Heck, you could take a hose and wash out the interior of a truck and not think twice about it. Um, back then, of course, muscle cars ruled the road, like the Dodge Ch uh, Road, like the Dodge Challenger, Ford Mustang, Chevy Camaro, and that's what they had back then, especially when the oil embargo in the 70s and stuff happened, when muscle cars were cheap. Um, kids would buy them up for very cheap money and um, race them and stuff, and that was a hot rod of that generation. And I can see the similarities between that generation and our generation because we get kicked out of events because of hot rodding our trucks and stuff like that. They got kicked out of car events because they thought they were rowdy kids with their muscle cars. Same thing with us with our rowdy kids with our trucks. This is our generation's hot rod pretty much. Where you can buy a truck, especially in the diesel category, soup it up and then you got one mean vehicle for the road when you can get a truck like a diesel truck and throw it just a tune on it and make almost over 200 horsepower for stock that is crazy to think about my dad was telling me like back then 500 horsepower was like a dream back then for the uh muscle cars now we've got trucks on tunes running almost 600 horsepower just off a tune let alone turbo upgrades injectors methanol injection you know whole nine yards like twin turbo setups compound turbo setups this generation this is our hot rod of our generation and it is insane to think about the similarities between that generation and our generation like when i went down to daytona um there was people doing burnouts people doing donuts i mean it was crazy and like my dad was saying when he went to car shows back then where it was like more similar to like what we have today with the muscle car. That's all they did was burnouts and stuff and showing them off and who's got the biggest cam, who's got the most horsepower, you know, who's got the cleanest car. It, the similarities are unreal and it's so cool to see that our generation is now basically that generation but do it for the trucks. Now of course you still have to say you still have the modern day muscle cars and stuff like that that kids are buying and everything but trucks are today's muscle car and all that stuff and with the utilitarian purposes of a truck you can still haul stuff tow stuff whatever but it's crazy and even in the gas category like how, how i want to do with my truck i want to do a 60 swap with a big cam and a um whipple supercharger on top of it making a hopefully over 500 to the tires that's what i'm shooting for even the gas truck category it's crazy how it took off because with the EcoBoost now with ford with just a tune alone, you can make almost over a hundred extra horsepower to the tires. Gas trucks, okay, granted, granted, gas trucks in general are not as tunable as a diesel. We all know that. They just, the way the mapping is on the computers and the way the engines are set up, they just can't tune, they're not as tunable as a gas truck. But at the same time, you've got gas trucks running 600 plus horsepower just off of a Whipple supercharger or a Pro Charger or whatever. There's a supercharger for... The 6.2 liter Vortex, I think that's the, I think they're called Vortex now, I'm not sure, in the Chevy category, that in the description it says D, it's the diesel killer, because it makes 600 crank horsepower. It's so cool to see the generation that we are still continuing the trend, because when we all get older, when we all settle down, have families, have kids, we can tell our kids, like, man, when I was... When I met your mom, or when I was like 21, I had this diesel truck that would run 10 second quarter miles, and me and my buddy used to go out on the weekends and cruise around and, you know, cause maybe a little bit of hell here and there. 
and it's cool like that, but that's when it, but that also leads me into the legal side of things. When my dad was growing up, if you were caught street racing, it was maybe a slap on the wrist, maybe you had to call your parents and go home. Um, if you hit someone, you would maybe get arrested for a day or not ticketed. But nowadays, everything now is a felony charge or a super big ticket. Like doing a burnout, it's like a super big ticket. Rolling coal, even though if you if you modify your diesel or you have an older diesel, they do it anyways. It's a ticket. The logistics now of back then when our parents were alive till now is a two totally different worlds. We've got to be more careful in how we present ourselves nowadays than back then. Because back then, people were like, oh, they're just rowdy kids. They don't know any better. But nowadays, they'll call the cops. They'll do whatever they... People will do whatever they want just because they don't want to deal with it. And it's sad to say, but it hurts our image. It hurts what we love, what we what we take our pride and soul into, and like what we spend all our money on like it's sad to see that but we just got to be more careful but on the same time you've got events that allow you to do burnout competitions allow you to do fun stuff like that and we need to keep supporting these events guys the big events are fun i've been to i've been to a few like daytona and adrenaline show this year they were amazing seeing all the trucks but support your local truck groups don't let that die off we need to keep supporting our local truck groups to where we can keep building those because on the local level, that's how we get more people involved in this hobby. And we, like yesterday, I didn't film it. Well, not yesterday, well, when you all see this. When I filmed the uh, the truck meet vlog, that'll be coming up Friday, we had a bunch of elderly people drive through and see all the trucks on. We had like 30, 40 plus trucks lined up down the um, parking lot. And I'm thinking, oh crap. Here's some elderly people. They're going to yell at us. They're going to call the cops on us. You know, we got a big bunch of big rowdy diesel trucks and uh, gas trucks here that are causing chaos. They drove up and I, they parted me. I was like, how you guys doing today? And they loved it. They thought it was so cool. They're like, oh, is this a truck me? I said, uh, yes, ma'am or sir, depending on what car it was. Um, they, we have having a truck meet. You know, we park our trucks. We walk around. They thought it was the coolest thing ever because it reminded them of them when they were kids and when they had um hot rods and stuff like that and it was so cool to see that because nowadays we just get a bad image a really bad image i mean it was a bad image back then when my our parents were growing up with the hot rods but nowadays it's like we get yelled at no matter where we, where we go and all that stuff but that gave me hope for the future of this and we need to keep supporting that Guys, I'm not telling you don't do burnouts. If you're in an abandoned parking lot like this one right here, where I film a lot of my videos, it's all abandoned, you know, no one around, and you want to light them up, go be my guest. But, or if you want to street race, the street racing to me, I don't condone it because just the danger aspect of it. But if it's in the middle of nowhere and it's 2 o'clock in the morning and you and your buddies want to go see who's got the fastest power stroke, Duramax, Cummins, you know, whatever, um, gas truck even, or whatever, go right ahead. Just make sure you're safe about it. But, I, like I said, I don't condone that behavior, but we need to make sure we keep a good image and that people want to come to these events. Because Daytona and all that, they were trying to ban Daytona 2018. It's sad to say, but they're trying to bank of all the rowdiness. And if it was any other event and it, stuff like that went on, they wouldn't ban it. But since our the image of what the truck community is gets such a bad rap, it's just it's it's sad, honestly. It's really sad. So closing out this video, I want to say let's just keep this this hobby, this passion, this sport, whatever you want to call it, going. Um, it's cool that this is our generation's hot rod now. And let's keep that up. Um, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I already broke a thousand subscribers. So thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting the channel. Likes, comments, whole nine yards. Um, I want to say thank you all again. If you like this video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Comment down below what you th that do you agree with me? That these are the new generation's hot rod. If you don't agree with me, um, explain why. I read all your all's comments. It's so awesome to see the interaction you all do. So, thank you all so much for watching. 
again, like I said, just I'm grateful that I've already that you allowed me to hit a thousand subscribers. The GoPro giveaway will be coming up soon, so keep an eye out for that. So all of you have a great day, and remember, never give up on your dreams.